All right, that's better. We're back in action. This is St. Clair Saints versus Maryville University. This one, in theory, going to be a bit of a tough one for our Saints as this is a higher rated team compared to what they are used to in the, the Tespa League. Okay, Blazin looking to try and break into the point. The rest of the squad right behind him. Trying to get a front side view here. There we go. The bleep are kind of pinned into this doorway, making things a little bit difficult. Going to try and take the long way around. Possibly drop in. No, they're going to take the high ground instead. Okay, Blazin's going to get taken down by Guru rather quickly. Jesse trying to keep everybody on top, but a lot of these Saints players are getting pretty hurt. And looks like this first battle here gonna be a wipe in the favor of Maryvale. And Don't Touch Me does get out alive, at least stopping some of the stagger. Okay, so singularity on to the, uh, the Sombra. Something we don't get to see too often here from the Saints trying a new strategy on this map, possibly. Okay, Saints just want to walk through, walk through the front like no big deal. Diva chasing the Genji, and they're actually do hear a Nano Blade possibly coming out. The Genjis are trading kills this moment, but Aether getting quite a few kills. It looks like Blazon was the one who ended up getting Nano boosted, not the Genji. But meanwhile, Aether just tore through the entire team of the Saints. So we just about have three alts basically ready on this side of Saints Gaming. There's Rat on the Sombra up in the top side, just being an absolute nuisance. A bunch of the uh, the members of Maryville actually taking the high ground to add some extra pressure. Don't touch me onto Diva now, just almost going down. Aether takes down Dowling pretty quickly, and the mech is lost from Don't Touch Me. The Saints are probably going to have to run from this one. Jub Jub is going to retreat. Singularity getting out alive as well. So far, Maryville doing an excellent job on this defense. Not really letting the Saints even touch the point, except on that first battle. And even then, they didn't get any ticks or anything off of it. Okay, going on the left-hand side this time. Okay, following on with Judge Up. There is the Dragon Blade coming out from the side of Maryvale. But it doesn't look like any kills have come from it, though. Jub Jub not able to get much damage in, as the Transcendence going to make things a bit difficult. Though the Saints sneak in one tick onto the capture point. Don't touch me. Probably going to end up going down. Primal Rage bursted onto the uh, onto the point just to possibly stall out a bit. But he's going to end up kind of staggering himself if he's not careful. But he's going to try and escape. It looks like he's going to get out just barely. Although Aether giving the chase and the rest of Maryvale right behind him. With only 30 seconds on the clock, it's very real that this might be the only push left in the Saints, but the nice um, EMP coming out from the, the Sombra on the side of uh, Maryville, completely stopping this push dead. One of the players of the Saints are going to have to touch the point. Otherwise, this is going to be a nice quick hold on the size of Maryville. Now, Blazon was able to touch it, but he goes down rather quickly. I don't think that's going to be enough time. Full hold for Maryville. Well played. So this puts Maryville in a pretty good position and the Saints in a world of hurry as they have to completely hold this for uh, for them to even like come close to bringing overtime out or something like that. I do believe they did get the one tick. So, okay, they have to hold two ticks, which... Isn't impossible, but definitely a little difficult. Uh, 
So the Saints taking their time trying to figure out how they want to hold this with the... They were thinking about Reinhardt earlier, but it looks like Blazin switching over to the Winston. Holding more high grounds compared to low, I suppose. Don't touch me, Zyra. Tried and true. Singularity on the D.Va. So, goats. When in doubt, bring out the goats. Even though it's not exactly the strongest on this map, where isn't goats? At least decent. Let's see who to ride along with. Oh, ride along with Jub Jub momentarily as they set up on the high side. And it looks like there's the Pharah coming out. That's Guru going to take a lot of damage actually from Jub Jub. But if he's not careful, his teammate's going to end up dropping in front of him. But the rest of the healers pulling up the slack. They do dive point initially, but it seems like they've actually retreated off it now. Definitely able to heal a lot of people, but Rat actually on the Hammond, taking down Blazin. Jussie also going down. A lot of members of Saints dropping, and that's already a barrage coming out from Guru on the Farah, which is going to be the capture and the first map win going over to Maryville. was definitely a sick play there on the side of Aether with that Dragon Blade. Now we got to see what the Saints can cook up for game number two. believe they did have the map list in the Discord. I'll check that real quick. Busan is going to be the pick for game number two. Yeah, it may have been a rough start, but by all means, the Saints are not down and out. The Sons of Mary Vale definitely showing their rank, at least as of right now. And okay, we're not going to waste any time hopping right into game number two. Okay, game number two just about gets started here on Busan with Maryvale up one versus St. Clair Saints. Let's see with this new Reaper coming out from Singularity, if they can pull something off onto Busan, bring this to a game three, and give arguably one of the top teams in the Tespa League in general a good solid run for their money. Okay, Guru charging in right away. The Hammond's actually almost going down right away, but he's going to get sniped out. Nice shot from Rad taking down Singularity. Although Guru again just... Getting in their faces and not really doing a heck of a lot, but just being an absolute nuisance. There is a Reaper on this side of Maryville as well, so we're going to have to be careful of that. As the point unlocks, the Saints are going to be the ones to jump on it, even though they are the man down. Guru going to take out Jussie in the back line, and this is going to lead the rest of the Maryville squad to show up and just start wrecking everybody. As some of the Saints are trying to run away, they do manage to find the Ana. Going to take her down, but no matter... Maryvale going to take the first point, start getting some percent onto this capture point. As the Saints try to regroup, they do not quite have any alts ready, about halfway done on at least three of them. Dowling going to get right into 
a blitz attack from Aether and Guru. Very terrifying uh, frontline attack. As Guru is swinging around, Dowling trying to get out of the way. Singularity's going to take down Guru. He's not going to. There this time. Rat with a nice snipe onto Justy. And there is the nano boost onto Aether. He is just tearing everybody apart on the control point. Rough one there on the side of Saints. The team wipe is complete. 32% possible team switching. We do see Jub Jub going to bring out the Widowmaker. Going to try and match up with Rat's Widow. That's a bold statement. Singularity also switching over to Farah, which is kind of scary considering how well Rat's been doing. So interesting choices here from the Saints. Not sure if it's right. There is a Death Blossom coming out from Aether. Takes down two before Singularity gets him down as well. That. Is that a teabag? That might be a teabag. If so, that's kind of BS. But anyway, moving on. Don't touch me losing the mech, but able to get back into a hammock himself this time. Okay, there is the, the visor coming down, but nice beat drop from Dowling, keeping the the rest of the squad safe. The mines are going to kind of stop their push for now, but it's only Aether in the way of them and the point at this point. There's Guru coming back in with the Hammond, of course. See, he's got to find a way to touch this point within the next 10 seconds. The Widow Mine there alerting the rest of Maryvale of the team's um, positioning. Rat gets jumped on from Blazin. Blazin almost going down. He's on the point, but the nano boosted Hammond is melting the back line. And that is going to be a wipe for the Saints. They're going to lose the first map. And I dropped the ball. I played this entire map on the AFK screen. Sorry about that, everybody. No idea what Aether is saying here, but we have game or round number two of game number two as we have to control this point just down the stairs. Let's see how our Saints can do. Okay, Aether finding Singularity and Jub Jub going down to Guru on a Tracer now. Cool thing about Maryvale so far is that they do have a pretty decent diverse uh, character selection. Rat gonna get hit with the sleep dart, but Jussie does go down before that's even effective. Gonna try and chase down the Farah, but the Mercy is right there. Gonna get d -max. Let's see if Singularity can come in. Trying to get back from spawn in time, but it looks like the rest of the Saints squad are going to go down. And the Saints get the first pick, but not for very long. Only about 11% taken. Saints coming back to regroup. Jub Jub was still caught out there. So they're kind of... Uh, Staggered a little bit at this point. See, we're already making the switch over to the Tracer. And there is a sneaky A3. He tried to get something crafty, but he's probably going to get dunked here if he is not careful. But so many of the Saints are actually taking damage chasing the Reaper that the rest of the squad of Maryvale is actually able to make up for Aether's error as this guy's just tearing through of Saints squad. Death Blossom also there, but he does get purple to nicely from Jesse, shutting that down after one kill. And they are actually going to res the Reaper right in the middle of the Saints' like spawn area almost. And it's going to be a rough one here as 40% is on the clock so far for Maryvale. And Jub Jub does take down Rat, finally winning the Widow duel, making his mark. But Hypnot just going to answer it right back as Dowling's right on to Mac. He's actually forcing Transcendence out of him. Nicely done to just hit that it, in the emergency, but drawing out the ultimate is just actually pretty clutch here for the Saints. Aether once again just causing a, a ruckus in the back line. 
and Dowling, I look away for one second and Max snipes him out. I'm guessing that was a right click charged up and ready to go. Aether is so close to going down, but he did have the orb of uh, Harmony on him, keeping him alive. And now don't touch me. Gonna be the last one down. 82% on the side of Maryvale. Match point is imminent. Probably one more push on the side of Saints. Jub Jub going down pretty well right away. And there's a barrage right above the point, taking down to 93% at this point. Definitely looking rough for our Saints. One more going down. Don't Touch Me does land a kill, but Dowling's actually on the point. He's going to get the back cap alongside Blazin. Keeping them alive for at least a little bit longer. Okay, Beat Drop just going to stall and try and get some more percent onto this point. 21% right now for the Saints. That is a Death Blossom coming out, though. Aether going to clean up the joint. The rest of the Saints seem to be wiped out, though. Don't touch me. Makes it to the point, which is going to get taken down as well. With the point recaptured and no Saints in sight, Maryvale is going to take this 2-0. And Aether was definitely a terror in this game, and it doesn't look like the rest of the squad are too happy with how that one went. So definitely exposes some work that needs to be done with the Saints squad. But granted, we'll say that this Maryville team was a very high-ranked team. So well played to them. A pretty quick match, but if you are a fan of our Saints, of course, as you should be, we do have one more Overwatch match happening later on tonight. That will be at 